And so what people did in the past, maybe you've seen this before, right? And if you're new, if you're new to JavaScript, don't worry, you're not going to recognize this, right? But you could you could get one particular element with get element by ID, and then you would give the ID in here, right? And it will give you that one particular element. Now maybe we we want to get, you know, all elements with a particular class name. Right? Also a very common thing in the past to to use something like this get elements by class name and then you would give the class in here it will give you all the elements with that particular class now these days the modern way of selecting elements is with query selector this is the most common way these days and uh, it looks a little bit strange query but in here we, we can use everything right so any query will work right so you can use by id right so these are css selectors by the way so we can write css selectors right so anything that you could use in css to, to select a heading, for example, I could use H1, right? Select by tag. Or if it has an ID, I could use the ID, right? Here we are selecting by class, right? So here it's the same, it's the same way. I could select by tag, I could select by ID, right? But you do have to use the symbol here, right? So if I want to select by, by uh, class, I have to use dot here, right? So this is the most common way. And we'll use class selectors here. So we could select with dot heading right same as in the css and it will give us that individual element now i want to store that element in a variable right so i'm going to create a new variable here i'm going to call it heading l i like to append l at the end of the variable name to indicate that there is an html element uh, stored in here and so this is a very common thing to do by the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.